So I wanted to show you guys the lunches that I've been having on the Galapagos. Um, normally, I come to this street. It's the same street that you saw in my vlog number two where they had all like the tables set up um, outside on the street. But usually for lunch, they do a set menu. It's called almuerzos, which means lunch. And it's a two course lunch. The first course is usually always a soup. And the second course is usually like a protein, carb, salad, um, like a proper plate of food. So I wanted to show you guys today's lunch. is a shrimp soup with pasta and potatoes. And it always comes with some kind of juice. Today I have lemonade. And then my main course is grilled fish with rice, um, plantain, and a pasta salad. Usually it's a green salad, but um, I guess today is pasta salad. Which is a little bit weird because they do like the double carb thing here a lot in South America, but um, yeah, whatever. This whole meal is $4. All right, so after lunch, I'm having ice cream at this place called Galapagos Deli. And they're a pretty well-known restaurant here in Porto Ayora. I'm treating myself because it's my last day in Porto Ayora. My friend Vicky just left. I miss her already. She should be here having ice cream with me. I got mint for her because that was her favorite. Um, but this afternoon, I'm going to San Cristobal Island and I'll be spending three weeks there. So I'm not leaving the Galapagos yet. I'm just leaving Porto Ayora and Santa Cruz Island but I will be in the Galapagos for another three weeks. So I'm excited about that. And I'm just waiting for my ferry, which is at two, and right now it's about one. So I have some time to kill, and I'm gonna enjoy my ice cream before it melts. I'm checking out of my hotel, so sad, but I wanted to show you guys um, this really cute hotel. It's called Coloma Stone Suites. And so this was the outside dining area where we had breakfast every day. It was really nice. And then here, have the path with the manta rays up to our room and here we are our room is on the second floor and I just want to give you a quick tour before I check out yep here's a view that we had and our room this hotel is really cute because all the rooms are decorated with a different animal. So we had the sea lion room. And next door, I just want to show you guys the window, is in the shape of an iguana. So that's the iguana room. So cute. Our room is like really messy because I'm getting ready to check out. But those were our beds. Bathrooms over there. And then we had like a small kitchen area with a mini fridge, a microwave, and a sink. TV where I watched Tom and Jerry in Spanish almost every night and yeah that is our room really cute we also have a blue footed booby on the wall over here so yeah this, this uh, hotel is just really nice really nicely decorated and um, the ladies here the staff here are so 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 nice I would definitely recommend this hotel if you are staying in Puerto Ayora or Santa Cruz in the Galapagos. So I also wanted to show you guys what Puerto Ayora and Santa Cruz in the Galapagos actually looks like. This is the main town in the Galapagos. Um, everyone pretty much, if you're not on a boat cruise, you're going to be staying in this town uh, for the most part. It's really cute and quaint. It's not very big. Um, this is one of the main streets and I will take you guys down to the pier and also to the other main strip as well. Alright, so this is the end of the main street and on this corner you have all the scuba diving centers. I went out with this dive center a few days ago. You guys saw the video on that. And if we walk across the street, well, that over there is the other main street. That's where all the souvenir shops are and some restaurants are down there too is the pier so if you ever go on a day tour to a, another island or you're taking the ferry to another island you're gonna have to come to this main pier and that's where I'm headed now to take my ferry to San Cristobal Ball Island that was my ferry the Osprey and the first thing that I see as soon as I get off the boat 
<laughs> sleeping all in a row. And look at that one, he's a little puppy. So cute. All right, so I just made it to the hostel that I'll be staying in for the next three weeks in San Cristobal, and my room is ballin'. It's a really nice um, hotel anyway, but I just wanna show you my room. So I have this whole room to myself. There's couch, I'm taking the big bed, my stuff. Um, there's two more twin beds, and then there is the bathroom here, which is a really big bathroom. And yeah, there's me, big windows, I'm excited to stay here. Hey guys, it's a different day now, but I realized that I never finished doing a hotel tour of the hotel I'm staying at right now on San Cristobal Island in the Galapagos Islands. So I want to do that for you guys now. All right, first this is the view from my room. We have a really nice pool at the hotel and it's really nicely decorated. Um, the owner also does like tile work, so he has like really elaborate statues made from tile. So we'll walk down and then you can see. So first you can already see like a tile fish. It's really nice. My room's on the second floor, so you just have to walk back the stairs. So yeah, you can see that like on the floor he has some really nice tile work. And then over here, that's like the lobby and reception area so it's really nice they have these like really big comfy plush couches in this area here um, and then coming back out we'll take a walk this way look at the seahorse statue it's made of tile and it's I don't know, I think it's really cool. And it's not turned on right now, but the seahorse is a fountain also, and usually there's water coming out of his mouth over there, so that's really cool. And then, again, here's the pool. I go in it like almost every day because it's so refreshing, it's so nice. And then here we have another little tile fish. Cute pool and then we have pool chairs and again another tile kind of mural in the back and then over here is the dining area and the bar so we have some seats at the bar and table area over here there's me and then we have like a little chill area over here and then another little dining table over here and then there is where the kitchen is where we prep breakfast and then you can see here also that he has some more tile sculptures this one's of two moray eels I think that's really cool and then like on the roof he has some too so it's hard to see from the video but that's a flamingo and that's like a sunny side up egg. It's really fun. Oh, I forgot to mention also that if you come to the pool area and come to the back, um, they have a sauna also, which is like really nice. So that's the sauna, and he has like a tile hammerhead shark in the wall. And I don't know if you can tell, but it like comes out of the wall. So it's like really cool. I haven't used the sauna yet, but that's definitely on my list of things to do while I stay here. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed my hotel tour. Normally this place would be like way out of my price range and my budget, but um, definitely stay tuned for my next video where I tell you guys one big tip that I have to save money while traveling because many of you guys were asking me how I can afford to travel and how I can afford to do it for so long. So my next video, I'm going to explain one major tip that I have um, for you guys on how to kind of like save money and travel longer. So definitely stay tuned tuned for that. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe for more videos of my travels to South America and until next time I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye!